Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue once again with my Let's Play of Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville, Focus Fridays, Episode 10, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the code of the roller coaster. I, I don't, it's, it's whatever. It's fine. That's what we're doing. We're making it happen. One step at a time. So, uh, I don't really want to talk to our people yet. They're fine with what... Yeah, I suppose it's bad. It's bad manners not to speak to the people that want to speak to you. We have a lot of people available. Oh, we only have one housing left. Well, that's not great. He's got a pistol. He's like, you want to mess with my kid? I shoot you. I had a chance to talk with Lewis Adams over a drink today. He said, hey, bud, you got a nickel? What? We don't use cash no more. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Old habits, don't you know? Uh, when you've been on the streets as long as I have, you kind of fall into those, what's it, uh, patterns. Okay. And you're a who? A what? A where? A why? A when? A camper. Yeah. Let's see. Oops. Did I... Did you, you are... Oh, no. <laughs> Lewis, no! Lewis! I thought I just did camper. Doesn't that mean that he sleeps under the stars? Oh, yeah, okay. I just didn't update yet. And I shouldn't have hit done there. I should have hit done other places, but I did not. Alright, we're going to try the uh, attack here. I don't know that I'll ever get used to these zombie attacks, but it's good to know we're beating back the brain eaters without too much trouble, for the moment at least. Alright. Talk her down. I keep my hands up where she could see them, and spoke gently like you would to a child, saying I was a friend and I wasn't going to hurt her, and that we had a nice, safe place where she could come and live. After a minute of this, she pointed the gun at the floor, stop patronizing me, or as some people like to say, stop patronizing me. She said, I'm just cautious, not crazy. She agreed to come check out the fort, and approved of our defenses. Welcome aboard, Victoria Hernandez, if it is your real name. And it probably is. All right. The zombie mob is coming to dance all over us. It's not going to be pleasant, to be sure. Hmm. Well, I don't think we need Victoria to actually be here. We're going to throw Victoria over here, and she can also do the same thing. Alright, we're about to go and do battle with the mob. And, in fact, we don't even have to do that, because we're amazing, and we're superheroes. Perhaps we're amazing superheroes. No one can be sure. Alright, we'll reclaim this. And then we'll go down here to this build. What is that building? Well, let's get closer. Maybe we can see. It looks like it's just a, maybe a really large farm or something. It's a pig farm. Okay. Oh, and there's a zombie horde down there. Hmm. Alright, well, I suppose we'll defend against that. There we go. We're all, we're all good up in the hood. It's fine. Okay, we'll advance time. We'll see how we deal with the mob. The Zed aren't smart, and they don't run from danger. Even when each one that steps out of the shadows ends up with a flaming arrow in its chest, they keep coming and dying until there are none left. Well, that probably wasn't the play. All right, we're going to go to the pig farm now. We're going to recruit from there. Um, we're going to defend from... Oh, I forget defending. We're going to murder... We're going for Zambi murder. In fact, we have too many people doing Zambi murder right now, so we're going to come over here and do some clearing out. I think it's fine. What do we have here? What do we have? Lola Thompson wants to talk to us. she got a toolbox. Yep, that's about right. That is about right. Let's hear more of Lola's story. Problem was, I didn't keep up with the news. I spent all day working on my sculptures. I didn't realize the Zed existed until they were bashing down my door. Turns out the old people don't run so fast, and most of them were turned in a matter of hours. That's a little bit sad. Tools expert, yeah! Alright, don't know that we can actually do any kind of building thing right now, but well, we seem to be okay-ish. Alright, we have to have something useless that we don't need. Like, I don't think we need the police station where it's at. So why don't we tear that down and build us up another residence, an apartment. There we go. Alright. And it looks like we have enough food to last us for a while. It's still on the rise. Happiness is going a little bit lower than we'd like, but I think we're going to be okay, guys. I think our squad is doing well. An epidemic 
Did you know people can still get the bubonic plague? I thought it had died out years ago, but it seems when you're trapped into a tight, unsanitary space full of rats and fleas, it can show up again. Good thing we have a hospital and we're able to contain it. Only one other survivor, Kevin, is starting to look green around the gills. We can probably cure them with medicine, though having trained doctors might be just as effective. How do we not have trained doctors? It used up a whole whack of our medical supplies, but I think we got this thing nipped in the bud. We got the worst of the boils and fevers, that doesn't look good, um, under control at least. Everybody else should be back to work tomorrow, but we're keeping baby under quarantine for a few more days. Mm-hmm. Well, how can you defend, sir? Not well. Alright, what about sending you as a defensive measure and the rest of you as also defensive measures? There we go. We have handled and contained the issue. She wants to speak, he wants to speak, he wants to scavenge, it will allow him to do so. Eh, eh it's whatever. Alright, we found food and fuel and all sorts of crazy things like that there, and there's more speaking to be had. Alright, we have 18 survivors that we can get. We are, are on a mission to get another one. Looks like Carrie McCoy is ready to speak with us. I had a chance to talk with Carrie McCoy over a drink today. She said, hey there, friend. Are you tired? Hungry? Down on your luck? Did you happen to stumble on a cache of someone's antique jewelry left behind as the previous owners ran for what truly mattered? Their lives? Well, then I have got a deal for you. Food for gold, yes. We are here at Food for Gold, or we here at Food for Gold will give you real foodstuffs in exchange for any of your inedible gold values of yesteryear. Okay. A uh, friend of Gustav? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. But whatever, we'll, we'll give it to you anyway. It doesn't really matter, guys. I mean, we should probably put that on, on an actual... Yeah. Meh. Meh. Alright, and you. You wish to speak, Reese. Welcome. Well, now you got the... Yeah, it's, uh, I, can, I can live with that. That's okay. That is okay. Alright, let's hear more of Spikey's story. So, my landlord breaks down my door with a fire axe and tells me to leave. Doesn't let me take anything. All I had was the clothes on my back. I had to scavenge to just survive. Saw him handing out my guns to a few of his buddies as I left. Jokes on them. They were all props for my show. Wouldn't even have been much use as clubs. <laughs> I like it. Firearms training. Very nice. We'll do a done there. And yeah, onward. And we're going to have to do the music adjustment as per norm. There it is. That seems a little bit better. Alright. Well, we're holding the line pretty well right now. I suppose they can bum rush this area, clear it out, and then capture it, I guess. Gain it. And we have 52 materials to build with. And we're about to gather up another survivor into the fold, into the mix. Ah, I could hear these two fighting from a block away. Blah blah blah. Well, this is your story for one more night. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um. Okay, the builder or the leader? We're taking Rusty. Rusty already had his bags packed and ready to go. Good riddance. All right, let's do that. And you are a leader, good sir. Guess what? You are going to take over as the churchman. The clergyman. And we're still waiting to hold off these guys. We need to reclaim some more stuff. I suppose we can probably fight with this guy down here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we're going to do that. Next day, we're just going to skip a couple days till we murder those fools. It looks like our injury is healed. The zombies are killed. Things are looking pretty darn good for us, and we're gonna, oops, we're gonna jump, alright, good, that all worked out. And come over here, and we're gonna shoot this, we're gonna reclaim that. And we should probably, at some point, tear down, ooh, there's a gas company, we should probably tear down this place. And, just so we don't have a graveyard sitting there, though, I don't know. Does the graveyard hurt us if it's already captured? I don't think so, but I don't know for certain either. Alright, we'll continue to scavenge there. 
And as much as I wanted to have you go out and murder fools, I suppose defending might be the better play. Let's see here. Alright, Nightmares on Elm Street. Lewis Adams has, hasn't been able to sleep much lately since his boy Lewis has been keeping him awake every night. The kid's having nightmares. We all do, of course, but these are like white-knuckled, piss-to-bed, wake-up, screaming night terrors. He's obviously stressed and traumatized. Alright, what should we do? Organize the summer camp. Yay! This boy needs something to keep him distracted. We've been so focused on survival, we forgot he's missing out on his childhood because of it. So, we organized the kids' only activity center at the local schoolhouse where Lewis can play games, do crafts, and we might throw some Boy Scout skills in there too. Just mentioning it brought a sparkle to his eyes. Alright, so that seemed fairly decent. I'm gonna come over here, I guess, and defend. It's not looking super good. Over here and defend, yeah. And then can we defend there too? There we go. Move you over here to defend and bam, handle. All right, I guess that's just gonna have to do it. Maybe for now. For now, we'll just handle it this way. Lathe. I had a chance to talk with Lathe over a drink today. He said, hey, you, yeah, you, you seen any colanders around? Or pots? They work too, but I find colanders more comfortable. Uh, okay. Eccentric? What is this? Makes both friends and enemies easily. Nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to do the redecorator. I like it. I always like that. That's one of my faves. That's one of my dim dare favorites. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, I suppose we could pistol it up there with you. Maybe with you? No, it's not really going to work, is it? Alright. Well, I suppose we could send her back to her bar. And you can help scavenge. She's still scavenging over there, that's funny. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Alright, next turn! Found some ammunition. Next turn. Are they ever gonna fight us? It's just not seeming like that's gonna be a thing. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna go and murder you, I guess. We'll take our boys out here and try to defend. It's not really seeming to work. That's probably okay. Alright, Lud stopped by to request some antibiotics from us. He claims he stepped on a rusty nail, blah blah blah, we'll offer to treat him. Lud got really defensive when I suggested our pe people might be able to help. He seems to think that we don't believe him and says that their doctors are perfectly capable of treating patients without our help. I guess we either give him the medicine or we don't. Alright, fine. Well, that's something. We still plan to murder him later. Probably. But that is down the road and we're not there yet. We're not ready. We're eager. We're not ready. Alright, Kevin Ecker. What's up, Kev? Uh, open up to me today. He told me, what was that? Do I have any special kills? Well, there was this one time I got a stick of dynamite right between this Zed's teeth. Then the thing went off. The shrapnel from the skull took out three more. Oh, oh, special skills. Sorry, my hearing isn't quite what it used to be on account of all the time I spent playing with firecrackers as a kid. All right. Um, yeah, I think firearms training sounds right up your alley, buddy. You don't have a gun yet, but soon I think we can manage to procure you one. We'll see. Alright, let's see if we can handle one more day away. There we go. And then we will come down here and do some zombie murder. Maybe. Alright, since Francine wants to speak to us now as well. A time to talk today. Let's hear some more of her story. Harry Spine came back from the ER ward one day. Bandage wrapped around her or his leg, okay, yes, it's Harry, that makes sense, saying some kid in the ER took a chunk out of out of his ankle. Guess no one realized what they had on their hands yet, or Harry was just BSing. He did that a lot, emphasis on did. Huh. Well, you are a fighter, so absolutely 100% yes. Plus three of your defensive skill. And by fighter, I mean you are totally not a fighter. She's not She's not the same redhead I thought she was. No, I made a mistake. I saw the red hair and I forgot she's a leader. Oh, well. 
That's fine. Well, now she's a fighter leader. She can do more than one thing. Look at that. She can almost take on the 22 zombies there. All right, let me let me be let me be real here. She can't do that, but she could go on guard duty, and that's that's kind of important, you know. Let her keep learning leadership skills, and we are gonna have a lot of problems on our hands soon if we can't keep these zombies from continually popping up. I'm trying, it's just not really working. All right, well we're gonna end our turn here. We're gonna go through this, and the zombies are on the move. The Zed aren't smart and they don't run from danger. Even when you've got a sniper on the nearby building, pick them off one by one. They keep coming and dying until none are left. Alright, cool. Muscle for hire. And eh, decline the offer. Don't really need them. Uh, time of for profit violence this time. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we don't need it right now because we can just do it the old fashioned way by just jumping them with all of our fighters and killing them off. Okay, they grow up so young. Tiff is now 14 years old. In the old days, she could still, or she still couldn't drive, drink, or vote. But life's different now. It goes faster. In her 14 years, Tiff has probably learned more life lessons than your average middle-aged woman would have back then. So we're proud today to call her a woman. Tiff now has full independence, her own home, and same responsibilities as everyone else here. Good job, kid. Good job. All right. Well, that is a thing that has happened. And what is she? She is... She is a scavenger. Alright, I'm getting closer with Tiff Campbell today. She told me, I used to have a pet rabbit when I was younger. I named her Rabbit. Don't blame me, I was only five. One day, some men from our fort tried to take Rabbit because they were hungry and they wanted to eat her. But my mom showed them her gun. After that, they left us alone. She's apparently an animal lover. Alright, that's fine. Sure, we'll do that. I'm sure eventually we can get one. Um, she wants to talk again. Oh, she does. She's just a talkative little gal, isn't she? Alright, let's talk to her again. Alright, I took Rabbit everywhere with me in my backpack. One time, me and her snuck out of the fort to go scavenging at a department store. While I was playing in the toy department, Rabbit got loose and ran away. I searched for hours in that store. I was so desperate and scared, and I felt like everything was my fault. Later, my mom told me that's how she felt whenever she couldn't find me. Alright, what about Brave? And no. Hoarder? Yeah, we'll do that one. That means we'll get some extra stuff from her when she's out doing doing the stuff that she do. We'll scavenge with her. Is there anything for us to take over right now? It doesn't appear so. We're still trying to murder this Zambi blob of guys right here. And then we would like to continue to clear out to this top little area. Once we have all that cleared out, I'll feel a little bit better. And we're just kind of slowly creeping our way down, taking over this entire area. Oops. No. Who did I move over with you? You. Back in that workshop. Get back to making them bullets. I don't pay you to go farming with uh, Lola's sister over here. Alright, Rusty Clemens. <laughs> what a name. Rusty Clemens. Pulled me aside after dinner today. He said, I used to take care of the children's section of the main library in our hometown. It was fun taking care of all the kids. I mean, sure, there were tears, fights, and more vomit than you would really hope for, but it's not really that different than what we have to put up with today, right? Okay. Um, yeah, what about Preacher? Sure, we'll do that. I think he's already working in a, in a church, so... Yeah, perfect. And you... What's up, baby? What's up? I had a chance to talk with Baby Oda over a drink today. She said, I miss the days when... Ironically, she's at a bar. Uh, when the only danger was burning to death. What? No, I understand how fireworks. You respect it. You keep it at a distance. You watch for the smoke, and you'll get out fine. Yeah, I was a firefighter. Rode the big red fire truck around the city to whatever emergency called us out. The dead coming back from the grave, however, that was one emergency we weren't trained to deal with. Okay... Fast recovery. Well, you did decide to like poke yourself in the eye or catch the bubonic plague, so yeah, maybe that's a good thing for you to have. All right, who do we have here? We have one of our scavengerian people that can go scavenge. I think we'll send you out to do that. Did you guys come over here and research? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why don't you just come farm together for a little while, guys? All right. Additionally, we can't build anything. That is our city hall. We don't want to tear that down. 
What, what can we do to a, a graveyard? Ooh. Oh, we can actually go in the fort. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think I saw that before. Alright, well, we want to tear down the graveyard. We'll make another bar. Or whatever it is. No, I'm building an apartment building. That's fine, too. I'm okay with that. I have accepted that and moved on. I believe we can even have more survivors. Yeah, we still have one house free. That's not bad. Alright, we'll end our turn one more time. Found a helmet. We found nothing. Materials. And we built an apartment. Really, really rapidly. So that's pretty cool. And the zombies are all dead now. Did we find any additional survivors anywhere? It doesn't look like it. So it looks like it's time for us to all move up here. And we're going to start clearing out some of the zombie horde. Actually, you're going to go here. I'm going to come help you with good old Peter. Good old Peter, there it is. All right, and we're going to go over here with you and clear out that. And then you guys can handle the one that you're on. All right, I think that is the play. I think that is the perfect play. Additionally, I think it's time for you to go scout. And you can finally do something as well, buddy. Why don't you go join them in some building material gathering? And then I think we need to do a trade soon, too. Get some more whatever weapons or something. And then we're, I think our fighters are starting to get to the point where we can probably start murdering a few fools. Alright, we've got some old farmer outside the gate. Says he was with the Luddies, but had enough of their backwards ways and striking and is striking off on his own. He also said he's heard we know a thing or two about basic traps and was hoping to be willing to trade that knowledge. He'll give us enough turnips for our Thanksgiving feast. We could use the food, but the Luddies won't like that we're making deals with their ex-members, especially for tech. Share our research. I'm okay with that. Who cares what the Luddies think? We've got more food in our bellies, and we've given someone a better chance of survival. Exactly. See? You know. You know, man. You know. That's that's how we roll. We handle our own. We take care of business. Exactly right. Alright. So, looks like our builders can come and claim a field. And we shall do so. And our scavenger can probably come down over here, I want to say, and wasn't there a place that we needed to scope out? Uh, I suppose we could scope out some over here. We could scout it out. Um, what were we going to do with you? Oh, we were going to trade with you, that's right. So we'll do a trade now, and we'll try to get some weapons out of the leddies. And then I think that's where we're going to break off the episode after this next turn, guys. I went out to meet the Luddy caravan and see what they had for sale. Ask if they need anything. Lud didn't want to give anything away, so he brushed me off. But it's clear from looking at their supplies they're low on medicine. Alright. Eh, we don't have a lot of medicine, but that's okay. We do have a med kit, though. Alright, we'll sell six of those. And all they have is a crowbar, a hammer, and eh, radio wouldn't be bad. We'll haggle a little bit here, too. Oops. They aren't fooled. Prices went up. What? Negotiated a 10% discount. Haggle some more. There we go. It's enough haggling for one day. All right. We can totally get behind that. And they can give us some more, I don't know, fuel, maybe? Mm. I'm okay with that. We'll we'll make the favorable uh, trade here. Seems like Francine Campbell's got bartering in her blood. Nobody can resist her saleswoman charm. The ladies offered to throw in something extra for the trade. What should we ask for? Um, well, we're maxed out on food. I guess gasoline. All right, cool. Well, that worked out pretty darn good. We'll send her over here to deal with the other, I guess. If we can find her. I want to do trade. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, well, we're going to continue to... Not scavenge, but search around down there. We'll do this turn. Once it's all done, skis, we will probably break it off. 
And it will be sweet, sweet, nice style, guys. Alright, everyone is doing something except our scavengerian. We'll have her go scavenger size down there, and... Yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Hopefully you guys had a good time. I certainly did. We're getting a little bit more of the map un under wraps, and we're managing to actually gather up a few uh, fighters now. So when we decide to go and take on uh, the Luds, we can definitely drop the Luddies down pretty simplistically. So that's going to be the play, the goal, the plan, the hope, the dream. We'll see. We'll see. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for... Ooh, not quite yet. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I met with Rufus at St. Michael's Compound. Let's see if they need anything. I uh, didn't want to give away. They're out of fuel. Okay, we can trade. And they have a hunting rifle and a chemistry set. A backpack. And another radio. I don't hate that. We'll take all those things. And we'll take the metal. We'll take everything. We want it all. We want it all. We'll trade you a helmet, a cowboy hat, a guitar. We'll trade you some of our extra fuel, since you seem to want it so badly. And we do have a plethora of food. We'll say okay, we'll haggle. Alright, we'll haggle one more time. Oh, it went up. Let's see, can we haggle again? Yeah, there we go. Down to 100. I guess we can keep some of our food if we wanted. Let's go back with a little bit less food on the table. Alright, food on the table. It's so funny. It's not really funny. Alright, we'll trade that out. And I eventually came to a deal with St. Michael's. It seemed to... Alright, cool. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very good. Anyway, that is going to be where I break off the episode. Officially, and superficially, and counterficially, and I don't know. It is simply what it is, guys. I'll be back in just a bit with a little bit more Rebuild 3. Right here on Focus Fridays. Until then... My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.